Uh, this video is um, an addendum to the uh, previous three videos on advanced AJAX callback. So um, in one of the videos we showed how uh, when you define the uh, callback you can specify additional data that gets submitted. So you can see here that uh, what we've done here is we've said additional data is var1 equals alpha and var2 equals beta. So this is some information that we're going to basically send back from uh, from the client back to the uh, server as part of our AJAX callback. So let's go. And also I pointed out that uh, this additional data is a string, so it's in single quotes. So we'll go ahead now and save it and go into uh, working preview and then click the uh, button. And there's the uh, debugger coming up. And if I um, look inside the E object over here, I'll see that uh, inside E, basically, we have var1 equals alpha and uh, var2 equals beta. So in this, ca in this case, uh, we passed back, we hard-coded the additional information that gets uh, sent back. But uh, you can actually be more, more sophisticated than that. You can see here that if I go back into this... Um, um, jo action JavaScript and look at this. This additional data um, in this case is a string, so it's enclosed in single quotes. But there's nothing to um, prevent you from getting a lot more sophisticated. And I could go here, for example, and type uh, get more info. And now get more info is a JavaScript function that will get executed. Uh, when the callback is made and get more info can uh, uh, use any JavaScript that it wants to get any information off the current page and send that back as part of the callback. So let's go ahead now and define a, um, a, um, uh, uh, a function called get more info that, that does just that. Okay, so basically what I've, what I've got here is if I uh, quickly go to working preview, you can see I've got an, uh, an input control over here in the freeform area. So let's go and take a look at this input control. Um, so I'll go there. And you can see I've just created an input control with an ID of input 1. And... Uh, now let's go to my JavaScript. So here's my JavaScript. And uh, there's my function called getMoreInfo. And what that's doing is it's reading the value out of that input control. So there's um, the input control with its ID input1. And we're reading the value that's currently in that input control and putting it in a JavaScript variable called data. And then this function returns a string. So you can see it's returning var3 equals more info, var4 equals even more info, and var5 equals, and then it's the value that we harvested out of that input1 control. So this is just a, uh, a string using a, uh, a query string uh, format. So let's go ahead now and save that and uh, run our grid. And I'm going to go here and type in some value. So uh, this is in an input control. And then I'm going to go ahead now and uh, click the button to do the callback. And now if I go and look inside E, what I can see is um, var3, which is more info. So this is e.var3. e.var4 is even more info. And e.var5 is this is in an input control. So the see the power here is 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 really great because I'm using JavaScript to read information from the current page, um, and this the JavaScript function is then uh, computing a string of additional data to get sent back as part of my AJAX callback. Thanks very much.